In this tutorial, I will show you how to connect your Dakin Pefera stylish or Pefera floor mount air conditioning unit to your Wi-Fi for smartphone control via the Dakin Connect app. You will need to do this the first time you connect your Dakin to your Wi-Fi and if you ever change your router or your Wi-Fi password. Firstly, you will need to download the Dakin Connect app from the App Store or Google Play. You will need to make sure that your phone is running the latest version of software and that your mobile data is switched off and that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that you wish to connect the air conditioning to. Before we start, you will need your home Wi-Fi login details, the model number of your air conditioning indoor unit and the Dakin LAN connection details, which are also under the cover. Uh, if you're not sure of the last two, then it's quite simple. You go to your indoor unit, open the front cover, and then there's a data sticker. Your model number will start with FTXM for the Prefera, FTXA for the Stylish, or FVXM for the Prefera floor mount system. To open the cover of your Stylish indoor unit, you'll have to hold down the clock button for two seconds. And then there are two clips behind the front cover that you pull down and then the front cover will lift up and the latch will engage. And to lift the cover of your Pefera floor mount, there are two clips on top of the unit that you pull and the front cover falls down. You can make a note of your model number or take a picture of it for future reference. The next sticker is one that says wireless LAN connection and there's an SSID in the key that says Dakin AP and then five numbers. You'll also need to take a picture of this for future reference. Your Heidi Air Conditioning installation team also put this sticker on the back of the remote control, so have a look there first. Next, we need to log in to the Dakin Winector app. So go ahead and open Winector, skip through each of the app features, press Get Started, and then Continue. This is the login page. If you already have an account, go ahead and log in. If not, scroll to the bottom of the page and click the blue text that says Don't have an account yet. You will need to enter your email, name, and create a password. Press submit, and then you'll have to go to your email and click on the email Dakin has sent you to verify your account. Once you have verified your account via email, go back to the login page and enter your credentials to log in. Don't forget to tick keep me logged in. Once you've logged into the Dakin Connector app, you'll be able to see the home screen. Go ahead and press let's add your first unit and then add a device. Now it's asking for the type of unit. So this tutorial is for the Dakin Prefera wall mount, Prefera floor mount, and the stylish. So in this example, we're using the Prefera wall mount, so I will select wall mounted unit, Prefera. Now it's asking for the model reference. So we need to refer to the model number that we noted down earlier. In this case, it's FTXM20R. And the first letter after the two numbers is the model reference number. So in this case, it's R, so I'll select R slash S model. If you have a stylish unit, the model number will be FTXA, two numbers, and then the letter following the two numbers is the model reference. So it could be A or B. Next, press connect using SSID and key, which is the blue button at the bottom of the screen. Now we need to put the system into access point mode. To do this, the system needs to be off. So go ahead and press the off button on the controller. You know your system is off if the flap on the front of the unit is closed. To put the system in access point mode, Hold down the powerful button on the remote controller for five seconds until SP1 shows on the display. Then press temperature up twice until it shows SP3. Point the controller at the unit and press the powerful button to confirm. You can confirm the system is in access point mode by looking at the two LEDs on front of the unit. The operation and timer LED should both be flashing. Once the system is in access point mode, you have three minutes to complete the next step before it times out. So go ahead and press next in the app. Next, you need to enter the Dakin SSID and key that we took a picture of earlier. This might be on the back of your remote control or it was the sticker underneath the cover of the indoor unit. The app enters Dakin AP for you, so you just need to add the five numbers at the end, three, and the key is all numbers, so six, nine, two, four. Once you have entered the Dakin SSID and key, press done and then join. Next, it will show you all the available Wi-Fi networks. So select your home network that you wish to connect the air conditioning unit to. Enter your home Wi-Fi password and then press remember this network. 
confirm the password is correct, and then press connect to network. If anything pops up on the screen about mobile data being off or not having internet access, that's okay, just skip past it. Next, it will ask you to set the correct time zone. It's suggesting Europe slash London, which is correct, so press the blue button, set time zone. Next, it will ask you to add it to your home. So you can either create a new home or select an existing home. And that's it. Press OK and it will return you to your home screen where you will see your unit on the Data Connector app. Now is a good time to give your unit a new name. To do this, press the pencil in the top right hand corner of the screen, click on your unit and then press the pencil again. Give your unit a more appropriate name such as bedroom, office or living room. Then press save and go back to the home screen by pressing the back button in the top left corner twice. And that's it, you have successfully connected your air conditioning system to your home Wi-Fi network and added it to your Dakin Connector account.